Hi, I'm Stephanie Schultz, Vice President of the Retail and Manufacturing Division here at Initiative One, and today I want to talk a little bit about the importance of self-reflection in taking 100% responsibility. So I've had a lot of conversations over the last couple of weeks, some with friends, some with clients, and in all situations I feel like somebody's been, whether it's uncomfortable or they dislike something about their current situation, it could be on the personal side, it could be on the professional side. What's interesting is when I've asked the follow-up question of what are you going to do about it or what would be a positive outcome out of this, I met with a response that they're not really sure. It reminded me that it's always easy to sort of point outward and say, hey, there's a problem, this is the issue that I need fixed to be happy. Taking the fingers and pointing them inward is a lot harder because ultimately, we have to take 100% responsibility for every situation that we face. So I always tell people, start with the end in mind. If you had to ask yourself, if this changes, if this one thing that I'm pointing out, will I be happy? And oftentimes people recognize that they're pointing to the obstacle or something that they really don't have control over or something that won't make them happy. They're truly looking at what their organization, maybe it's their leader or perhaps their spouse or significant other can do instead of saying, hey, what can I do about the situation? And those are things where it can kind of be a smoke and mirrors approach of, well, I talked to them about it or I'm working on this change, but we're not truly embarking on any personal change. The second question I often ask, and this one can sometimes be met with a, a bit of an emotional response, but are you watering down the vision that you have for your life based on what you've gotten comfortable with around you? It's a lot harder question to ask, and it's one of those things that, again, really makes people take a good look in the mirror. And we say this all the time here, any change, especially deep change, starts with ourselves. We all live somewhere between that progress towards a better future and our current state of living. And one of the best ways to think about things is to say, where am I at right now? So take an hour, carve an hour out for yourself, and it doesn't even have to be an hour, take 30 minutes. Just reflect on where you're at right now. It's time well spent, I promise. Think about the different aspects in your life, from financial, vocational, to social. What are your relationships like, from friends to your partner, to your work relationships? Take a look at all of those and really reflect on what area could use some work. Not all of them have to be your focus. You can't do all things at once, but if you pick some of those areas, one or two, that really could have the greatest impact on your life, that can be helpful in trying to figure out where to start as far as taking 100% responsibility for any situation and your happiness. At the end of the day, don't climb the mountain so that the world can see you. Climb the mountain so that you can see the world. Figure out what it is that you want and get after it. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and comment below on how you are taking 100% responsibility for your life. Please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below about how you are taking 100% responsibility for your life. 100% responsibility. <laughs> <laughs>